Okay, ready? So here's my new and improved way to handle missing work in Schoology. So I don't want to show student grades, so I'm going to go uh, just to my practice course for a minute and show you in the grade book, um, which usually, by the way, I use that toggle out. It's a little easier to scroll between. In view, there is an option to show marked missing with submission, okay, or graded with new submission. So if you click on this, there, there's not any in this one, but it puts a box around it, okay, so you can identify. The issue is when you have 35 students in a class like I do, and you have a lot of assignments like I do, you're literally on a scavenger hunt looking for those boxes, right? So I put some responsibility on students, and this is my solution. So I've created a missing work form, okay? In the form, there's a short answer for their last name, short answer for their preferred first name. This is just what I call them in class. It may or may not be an exact match to the records from school. Um, I have them have a drop-down menu where they choose the correct class period. Okay, and then I switched it up, and this, oh my goodness, is a game changer. So much easier. You're going to use, and I put this option, so it's short answer text, and I put your link to the assignment page. As soon as I put that in there, it gave me the option to add um, a requirement. So it has to be text, and it has to be a URL, okay? And if they don't put a URL, it's not going to allow them to type the answer, which is awesome. And then um, any additional comments. So let me just show you how that works if I add another short answer. So I'm going to type URL link to assignment. As soon as I do that, you see automatically it changed to short answer and this popped up. Okay, so just so you know, there was nothing fancy that I did. I literally just typed that. Okay, so I'm going to delete that so no student sees that if they try to submit it. Okay, and then the any additional comment. I added a video, and in the description, I'm going to link this video so you can see it. Directions for how they get the link to the assignment. All right, now, what does that give me? So when I go to um, responses, okay, you can make a spreadsheet. So I'm going to open the spreadsheet, which I already have done. So again, up here. You're going to click this view responses in sheets, right? Here is my responses. I've hidden the student names. Here is the URL link. So watch. So straight from the sheet. Uh, one other thing, I added this column at the end. This is me just putting my initials. And the reason is uh, I had to delete that column that I added. The reason I add this is it allows me to know which assignments I already checked. So I'm not trying to figure out which assignments did I look at, which did I not. But anyway, so here is the link. I'm going to click on it straight to the assessment. I can grade this question. That's it. So ridiculously easy. I don't need to hunt through the grade book. This is a game changer. Okay. So no more going in the grade book trying to find the boxes they fill out this form okay you look at the results click on the assignment grade it it updates the gradebook so much easier 